Whitstable in North Kent, famous for its beaches and its oysters, but both are now under threat from raw sewage leaks. You dive down, you swim a bit, you come out and you're in sewage and it's all over your face, all over your hair and, you know, <laughs> what can you do? You thought the water was okay. George Kogansky loves open water swimming, but now he believes he's got sick from swimming in raw sewage in the sea. I've had um, diarrhea, a little bit of sickness in the morning, but I've had diarrhea and, and bleeding, unfortunately, as well, for very long periods of time. You know, five days in a row. I've had three major episodes like that where they've been prolonged. And then I put the two and two together, I'm like, Oh my God, every time I stop swimming for a couple of weeks to recover my strength from being ill, I've, I haven't had any problems. Three open water swimmers have told GB News that they have got sick from swimming in the sea behind me. They describe symptoms such as bleeding, sickness and ear infections. They didn't want to speak publicly, but they're happy for their testimony to be used. There are now concerns that there are a lot more people than are publicly acknowledged that have got sick from swimming in the sea at Whitstable. And there are also concerns for the long-term health impact that this can have on people who've been swimming in raw sewage. It's a problem that's been persisting for years. Southern water serves much of the southeast and was fined £90 million in July following thousands of illegal dumps in a five-year period. This recent protest walked from the beach at Whitstable to the Swalecliff sewage plant. In August, a campaign group called Save Our Seas Whitstable was set up to put pressure on Southern water to make urgent improvements. Effectively, every time it rains, they seem to discharge large amounts of raw sewage into the sea. And it, quite frankly, it's dangerous to our community, to people who swim in the sea. It's harmful to our local economies. It's bad for marine life. And the residents of Whitstable and Kent in general have just had enough of it. We've had lots of reports of people swimming and gaining ill health afterwards. We've had reports of people being made ill after eating oysters. We've had lots of reports of dead animals and fish turning up on the beaches. It's just a general problem and quite frankly no one wants to take ownership of this and admit the effect it is having on people's health and the environment. We want the government to intervene, we want them to pass amendments to the Environment Bill that will make it mandatory for these companies to act and we want it to be actually enforced. The Environment Agency told us all water companies have a legal duty to protect the environment. The Environment Agency is working with the government, the Water Agency and others to reduce sewage spills. Rosie Duffield is the local MP. And we've seen the government take control of, of other failing companies recently, like uh, the South East Trains. I think the government needs to have a more direct involvement in these private water companies and hold them to account much more strongly. And that particular building the sewage treatment works has been there for a long time hasn't been upgraded or updated and they've been really complacent about this so this should have been dealt with a long long time ago in my investigation into this subject three people have said that they believe they've got sick as a result direct result of swimming in the water at whitstable what's your reaction to those findings it's disgusting and we need them to be spending money on testing and helping those people to find out if that is actually a direct cause of their illness it sounds as though they're pretty certain it is and people aren't stupid they know their area they know what they're doing i think we need proper investigations into that southern water needs to be taking those claims very seriously indeed is it safe to swim in whitstable i wish i could put my hand on my heart and say come to whitstable and swim to, to visitors but i think i can't give that guarantee at the moment and i think locals and visitors need to be very careful before thinking about that Southern Water told us, Southern Water is leading the industry in disclosure of environmental information. The designated bathing waters around our coast are regularly tested by the Environment Agency and full details of the results can be found on the DEFRA website. Of the 83 beaches on the 700 miles of coastline in Southern Waters area, 58 are rated excellent and none are below acceptable standards. But for locals like George, they just want to swim in the sea again. Ellie Costello, GB News.